Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesigntechtips.com. We've got a fun one for you today. We've got a little blurb here with an image and a bit of content here. And we've got a little read more button. When we click on it, that blurb's going to expand. Writing on the button's going to go to see less. It was see more. And if we click on it again, it's going to go back to how it was. Great little interactive space saving thing to have on your website. Really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. And let's go down. We'll delete what I've got here. And we'll start from scratch. I've got a section here. Let's add a single row. I've just put a single column in that row. And I'm going to use a blurb module for this. This will work for any module you want to use. Let's throw in a title. I've got some content here. Fair little bit of four paragraphs, four or five paragraphs there. And let's go down. I'll throw my little logo on the top. Great. Well, I want actually this blurb module to take up all the available space at the moment it, by default. It only takes up about 550 picks. If we go over to our design tab and sizing, there's a content width. There's the 550 picks. I'm going to change that to 100%, 100 and the percent sign. That'll make it take up all of the available space there. That's great. My logo is a little bit large there. Let's just go up into my logo, image and icon there. Here we've got the width. I'm going to make mine about 200 pixels. 200 px that works for me and finally my title there you can edit the text or the title just by hovering over it hitting the little paintbrush associated with it it'll take you straight to the design for that particular thing let's make this semi bold we'll pop it in the middle and i'm just going to give it slightly more line height to push the content down a little bit obviously fix yours however you wish yeah, let's save the blurb now. That's great. But we only really want to display this first paragraph, or not even that, maybe the first couple of lines as a teaser. It's entirely up to you. So I'm going to add a new row down below. Little green button to add a new row. Again, I'm going to use a single column. I'm going to throw a Divi button in there. There it is right there. Let's just roll up a little bit. And let's say... Show more. Not going to put a link in it. I am going to go over design, pop it in the middle. And let's just make it slightly more interesting using custom styles. Text size, I'm going to take down to about 16 pixels. I'm going to make it white in color. It's going to disappear on the background there. But I'm going to give it a background color of blue. If you want to, you can give it a hover color by simply going over the dark writing, and this is common to all Divi modules. If you hover over the dark writing within a module, if there's an arrow there, we can set a desktop state, which is when the mouse is not on it, and a hover state, which is when the mouse is on it. Let's have it turn purple when they put their mouse on it. That's fine. And I don't want any border on there. Just for fun, I'm going to chuck a bit of box shadow on. If you wanted to, it's got a little icon there. I'm happy with it to be that little arrow that works for me. But if you wanted to change it back in the button there, you may have seen it when I rolled down just now. You can choose any icon you want here. There's plenty to choose from. Great, well, let's save that. How are we going to make this work then? Very easily. Going to add a bit of JavaScript and CSS. And don't let that freak you out. I've written it all for you and it's very easy. I'm going to take you all the way through it. So let's add a code module. Just under the button, I'm going to hit the dark button to add a new module. I'm going to roll down. I'm going to grab a code module. Down below the video, you'll see a link under code used today. If you click on it, it's going to open up this PDF. Once in there, 
grab all the code from the opening style tag there. We're going to go all the way down to the next style tag, all the way down to the bottom here, to that closing script tag there. Make sure you don't cut off any of those. Copy it, Control C, or right click and copy, however you like to do it. We'll go back, put your cursor in the code module, and hit Control V to paste, or right click and paste, however you like to do it. Like I say, it's all written for you. At the top here, we've got some CSS. And basically the CSS is gonna tell a module that we're gonna call expandable. We've got a CSS class there. It's gonna give it a fixed height of 200 picks. And then another one called expanded, it's gonna make the height 100%, which will reveal all of the content. And we've got some script here that will switch those two around. So let's start applying some of these class names. We'll start at the top. Expandable is the class name that we want to give our blurb module. So I'm going to copy that. We'll get out of here. We'll go into the blurb module, dark tab for the module. You always find CSS IDs and classes over in advanced. Remember this top one is a class name, not an ID. because it had that dot instead of a hashtag in front of it? So we need to paste that in there without the dot. Make sure you don't put the dot there. Fantastic. As you can see, that's already made that shrink up to 200 picks. Now I see some little artifacts there. That's actually the top of the line that's below there. I don't want to see that. So we could shrink it up by another couple of picks and you can adjust it to taste. Let's save this. We'll go back into the code module and fix that. Dark tab, the code module. And here it says expandable 200 pixels. If I take that down to perhaps 198 pixels, that should fix that little bit sticking up there. Fantastic, that got it. Obviously, adjust yours to taste. If you want it deeper, make it 200 or 300, whatever you want yours. If I put a 2 in there, you'll see what's going to happen. It'll make it that deep. So adjust it to however deep you want it initially. I think my 198 was good. Great. Now, if we roll down here, we've got some IDs. We've got a button that has an ID of toggle button. So that's what we need to give to our button here. May as well do it from the top down. So I'm going to copy this. This is an ID, not a class this time, as it says ID right next to it there. So I'm going to copy that. Make sure you don't get the inverted commas there. Control C. We'll save this. We'll go into the button. We know where CSS IDs and classes are over there in advanced. This time it's an ID. Make sure you put it in the ID and not the class. We'll save that. Great. Let's go back down to our code module here. And the next one is telling it to get the element by ID. And the ID is expandable element. The element we want to get is again our blurb module exactly the same place as we put that class name up there but this is an id so again copy it without the inverted commas Control c to copy we'll save that then go back into our blurb module back over to advanced css ids and classes this time we're going to paste it in css id up here fantastic i've actually got it set to scroll back up to the top if you've got a lot of content so it'll go back up to the top here so we have to give the row an id also so if we go back into the code module and if we roll down the scroll back up here we've got to give an id of blurb top which i'm going to use like i say the top of the row that it's all sitting in here so remember this is an id Control C to copy. We're going to go into the row, the green tab this time for the row. Again, over to advanced CSS IDs and classes. Remember, this is a CSS ID. I'm going to paste that in there. Great. Now, I notice with my code, I've called this button show more there. In the code, it says see more or see less, but you can change that to anything you want. I'll show you how to do that. We'll go back into that code module. And if we roll down here on line 30, we've got C more. And on 34, we've got C less. 
So if I change that C to show, that should work for us. And show less. Or whatever is pertinent to whatever you're doing with yours. And at the bottom here, it says when you click on it, it's going to activate this function that's going to do all that. So we should be good to go if we've done everything correctly here. So let's save our changes. We'll save the page changes. And let's exit the Visual Builder. And we'll roll on now. There's our little blurb module with the logo title and a bit of content there. When we hit the Show More button, it's going to reveal more content. Let's drop down. And the button's changed to show less when we click on it. It's going to pop back up to the top again. Scroll up to the right place and say show more again. Once more. That is a really nice little interactive feature to have on your site. Also saves a lot of real estate. Really easy to do as you can see. So just follow the steps that we did in this video here and you should be golden. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget if you have any questions, pop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little video like this one. Hit our next video. I've got this little image down here. Keep your eyes on it. I'm going to put my mouse on it. It's going to morph into a different image. Really fun one to do. No coding at all involved in that one. So once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.